Hey guys, today I have a really nice tutorial for you and it is a, you know, crochet. I don't know if you guys can see this. Can you appreciate this? See, I'm really happy because I actually did this by myself. If you're someone like me, I hate sitting on the chair for nine hours. I hate bending my neck. I hate, I just, I can't do long periods of time. That's why you guys see me in wigs or weaves, you know, I keep it quick and cute. So this is definitely is quick and cute and you can do it underneath two hours and they look like you sat in that chair for time. Um, hopefully you guys really like this tutorial and please keep on watching. See ya. So I'm gonna show you the braid pattern that I have done. Um, I've got like two rows. I don't know if you guys can see this, but two rows of um, braids. And then at the back, I've done it as um, you would normally would do for crochet because A, I don't really have time to be doing this all over. And um, it just makes it easier as well. And it reduces the time. Like I'm one, I can't, I can't sit in that chair. Like I've really tried it. I tried it, I, I can't do it. So I thought that this method would be really nice to try. So the packets that I got is, I just got normal expression. If you're in the UK, I think we only use, I think what this is what I could see in the supply store. And one packet is um, 6 dollars And I got seven packets because I wasn't sure. So I don't want it like super full. In this packet, you get 16 braids. And this is 24 inch. So what you've got at the end is like this little hoop. Sorry if I'm looking over there, it's cause my mirror is over there. Hey guys, I planned to do a talk through, but what her hair pun was, um, I wasn't able to do it. So I'm gonna have to do a voiceover. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna push the crochet needle sideways and then we're gonna pull the braid, the pre-braid with that hoop. And then of course we wanna add the end push the end through so what we're going to do is we're going to pull the push the crochet needle through and then place the braid in that latch and then we're going to close the latch and pull the braid through and then we've got to tighten it and what this is going to do is that this is just going to secure the crochet braid so that it doesn't fall off and it looks like that is coming from your scalp and of course we want to hide this braid because we don't want it showing because that ain't going to look cute and we're going to entwine that into the braid and what I like to do is I learned this method through trial and error and, and some other YouTubers as well who had done this through this method and what you do is you push the crochet needle towards the braid and then you get the end of the natural braid and you latch the end of that natural braid into that latch you close the latch and then you pull it through so it's almost a similar method of what we're doing with the crochet at the top with the hook so basically you carry on doing that throughout the whole of the braid so you push it upwards towards the braid put the end of the braid into that small latch area and then pull it back and pull it through the expression braid and hopefully I'm explaining this properly So go towards the natural hair, put it into the latch, pull it through and then keep on doing that until you have no hair left. Then moving to the back area of the crochet, this is just the natural crochet which I showed you guys before. You just put it underneath your hair, latch the end of the braid, pull it through the hoop and then you pull it and tighten it. Just keep on doing that all the way in the back, make sure you just fill gaps. I just added the braids as I wanted to and then I just went by feeling and just make sure that there were no gaps. Well, 
so I have my head scarf on A because I'm laying down my baby hairs and then the next bit which is the next step which is going to be the hot water and I'm not sure actually why you put hot water but I think it keeps the longevity of the braids because I think it seals it so I am going to be putting my hair into the hot water that's why I have this towel on top of me to um here you guys see the steam I will have to show it off camera because i don't really want to burn myself as much as i love you guys i'm not gonna sorry i'm not gonna burn myself for y'all so you guys can see that i know it's quite hard to do this i would have actually done this in the bathroom but i can't really take all my line and stuff with me and the final touches that i'm gonna add are these little cute um i don't even know what to call them braid beads and you just attach these onto different pieces of your hair and they make you look very like you know poetic justice like Moesha, you know. Well, I'm sorry that I wasn't able to like give you the best lighting because I was trying to look in the mirror and it's my first time and doing it under two hours don't forget guys like it is super quick if you're the type of person who doesn't like sitting down waiting for that hairdresser to braid everything then girl this is for you if i can do it you can do it let me tell you that now so guys don't forget to comment like and subscribe if you want to see a certain type of video please let us know and we'll do it most most of the time but we actually do it so yes love you guys bye